Hey, hello, how are you and welcome to the video. Um, today is the official one week of me being sober. First, first week of me being sober. I've not I drank since last Thursday of last week. Today is Friday of this week. Um, so yeah. I haven't been so I haven't been a week sober for years. A few years ago I did uh, go dry for like one month. Um I can't remember how long ago, but it was years. Several years. <laughs> but yeah, since then I don't I think this is the longest I've been without alcohol. So I thought to uh celebrate the occasion. How does an alcoholic celebrate? <laughs> How does a sober person celebrate? Well, I found uh, this in the uh, Serval in the petrol station. I thought, cool, I've been interested in trying that. It is the Y3000 Coca Cola Zero Sugar. The future flavoured. It's a Coca-Cola that was being co-created with the assistance of AI, artificial intelligence. Um, so yeah, this is what Coke will taste like approximately 977 years from now. Personal, <laughs> personally, I'd be impressed if the human race still exists then. Uh, I'm between impressed if they're still drinking fucking Coke. You never know. Anyway, let's crack one off. So here's to one week of sobriety. There you go. Hmm. Hmm. Kind of smells like Pepsi, but diet Pepsi. No. Oh. It's different. That tastes like cream soda. Kind of tastes a bit like vanilla Coke, but I'm, it tastes more like cream soda to me. Hang on. Yeah, yeah, kind of, yeah, yeah, Coke, it doesn't taste like Coke much, it just tastes like cream soda, but we're, uh, anyway. Maybe a slight cokey taste in there, but, so yeah, I'm not sure how much input artificial intelligence had in this, but, what was the point? Well, this is probably bullshit anyway, this is a marketing thing. I mean, what knobhead at Coca-Cola thought, hey up, I've got an idea. Let's, let's, um, let's put the ingredients of Coca-Cola into a cyborg's brain and let them reinterpret it. But yeah, this just tastes like uh, cream soda. I mean, that's, maybe that's what the intention of the uh, AI was. They, type, they fed it the ingredients of Coca Cola and thought, what the fuck's this shit? Here, try this. <laughs> this will taste better. And it's like cream soda. You know, it's, it's, it's... Mm. Yeah, it's strange tasting. It's cream soda, but with. Yeah, like, like a Coca-Cola flavour, like cola flavour, but... Yeah, yeah. They could have just sold Coca-Cola cream soda, marketed it as that, and it would have been... Oh shit, yeah, okay. Don't want to bother with his Y3000 bullshit. Anyway, 
How's that? Pretty can, isn't it? Look at that. Nice, nice. Pinks and blues, it's like a Floridian sunrise or sunset. Anyway. So anyway, yeah. Uh, one week sober. How am I feeling about it? I'm feeling fucking great about it, man. Um, just like in one week alone, but not drinking. Uh, I've noticed so much, like, um, I mean, physically, uh, I, I feel great. I've, I've got a lot more energy. I don't seem to ache much. I'm, I'm, you know, I just, I feel kind of buoyant, uh, light, no aches of it. I just, like, lots, loads more energy. I mean, I've finished work, like, like 20 past nine tonight it's like 10 p.m now i've only been in about 20 minutes just came in got in the shower and started doing this video and i don't feel particularly tired i did like a pretty d decent stint like about seven and a half hours got like 21 drops so yeah yeah fucking it was hot then it started pissing it down it was humid then it stopped raining the humidity fucked off and it started pissing it down again proper. <laughs> so yeah, the weather's been tumultuous. But yeah, it's not, it's not, it's not, it's not uh, put me in the shitty mood or that. I feel, I feel good, you know. I, you know, my body feels like kind of tired, but saying that, I'm not even too tired. I mean, it's not achy or anything. Um. So yeah, and... Especially um, mentally and emotionally, uh, massive improvements there. I mean, it's like, like mentally, it's I just have like much more clarity in my mind. Just, to, just not not just like thinking better, but just being in the present better you know just, just feeling just be more aware of i don't know here and now <clears throat> and just little things like uh like concentration I'm, i feel my mind like proper coming back to me you know as opposed to feeling the need to uh prop it up with alcohol because i've gotten to the point where i was thought I needed alcohol to make things interesting and it's it's kind of like the opposite way around I needed to not drink and things became more interesting because <laughs> they were interesting anyway um so yeah like little things like this morning I was playing Assassin's Creed Black Flag on my Series S and well, I've played it before but I've played it and had a few wines <laughs> Most pretty much shape all that every time. <clears throat> well, this when I was playing it this morning, I was just like I was just so like more immersed and focused, and just like in sync with the game. No pun intended. Assassin's Creed fans will get that. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, I was just I was I was just really enjoying playing it a lot more. You know, and uh, I was wearing these me uh, gaming headphones. I usually just wear for playing like Call of Duty or uh, maybe some survival horror stuff. Um, but I play them, and if I, uh, wear, I wear them, and if I ever drink, it'll uh, make my ears. <laughs> well, it'll, it'll, eventually my ears will heat up, and because it'll just like, and I'll just feel the pressure of that on my head. Um, but now I was wearing them to uh, this morning, and I was fine with them. You know, because I'll, you know. There was no booze involved, so it wasn't like you know, tightening my head up. <laughs> but yeah, yeah. Um, I just need to say as well to all the comments I got for the uh, I'm an alcoholic video um, that I made like you know, a couple of days after, not after, after, after I last drank and fucking give myself the, uh, the old Oliver. Um, yeah, all the comments, well, 
pretty much 99% of the comments on there, they was they're so they're beautiful, man. I mean, people just like, you know, just sending the best wishes and telling their stories, experiences with alcohol and how long they've been uh, dry. Um, if they're still going through it, people who had like much worse fucking problems than I did. Um, yeah, I just want to say a massive thank you to all those people. I mean, there was a couple of knobhead comments in there, but uh, you expect that from anything, yeah. Someone asked, someone commented, are you a cockney? I'm like, well, I don't see how that's relevant, but I'm not. <laughs> Do I, I don't sound like a cockney. I'm English, yeah, but I'm from Yorkshire. I live in Australia now, yeah, but I'm not a cockney, no. <laughs> I'm from Paris to Atta Isle of Undertale. Yeah, yeah, some other cunt said, aha, you got punched, and I'm like, oh, no, no, I didn't get punched. Being punished would have been less embarrassing than falling over in a drunken stupor, and caning your face on the fucking pavement, yeah. So no, I didn't get punched, and I'm not a cockney. Um, besides that, uh, all the comments were positive, um, people saying, you know, Good luck to you, uh, much love out there, uh, you know, admitting you've got problems the first step and all, all that was it, you know, saying it out loud was a big step because I knew I had a problem but just putting it out there and that's what, that's why I made that video to be honest, I mean, I wasn't expecting people, or I wasn't thinking about people watching it, I was just making it more for myself and ah, I don't know, I don't know, yeah. <clears throat> But uh, yeah, I, just, I feel great. It wasn't too difficult get, getting through the first week. I did have, um, there was a couple of moments where I just kind of had the, uh, you know, the alcohol mind. It's so used, it's, it's so used to being in, in that pattern of like, oh, I'll, yeah, well, I'll have a drink and do this, do that, whatever. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it's only been a couple of times and you know, it's not been a craving, it's just been like in your mind that you're thinking about it and it's like, uh, no, I don't want to think about that. Yeah, fuck off. Um, but yeah, I, I, I've had no physical cravings. Yeah, like I said, it, physical cravings were my problem. I didn't drink for the taste of it, I drank for the effects of alcohol, you know. So it is psycholo all psychological for me, pretty much. Oh, excuse me. What was I going to say? Oh yeah, I went to a quiz night at the Cascade Brewery on Wednesday. Uh, so when people, you know, obviously everyone there was drinking. I actually won a jug of fucking beer actually in a tie break, break a question for our team. <laughs> yeah. Um, but then I was cool with that. I had a lime, uh, lemon and lime bitters um, as a drink and this gorgeous beef brisket uh, for dinner with uh, these potatoes and uh, Brussels sprouts. Yeah, but yeah. That's another thing. Uh, eating better as well. Appetite's a lot better because with, with booze, um, you find you start drinking, it's like you'd, you'd be hungry, you'd feel it, but you just didn't. Well, for me, I didn't just didn't want to eat and it feel like, you yeah. know. Yeah. Um and sleep sleeping. Um initially first few nights I wasn't sleeping particularly good. Um I, I, I'm, not, I'm not saying that was like like some kind of withdrawal thing, but um I think it was just like anxiety and you know be a bit of concussion from this was still fucking about with me but um last two or three nights i've been sleeping like like you know seven seven plus hours straight through near enough and i haven't been like that for years near enough <laughs> um because yeah wine one of the big things for me with the booze was it was fucking up with my sleep i'd you know I'd maybe get a few best i'd get would be five hours and You'd wake up feeling shit, um, uh, 
sometimes I'd get like one or two hours and just be like snap awake and feeling tired, but you but you're like you you feel anxious and all these persecutory thoughts attacking you in the middle of the night and uh, oh yeah. Oh, yeah, just fucking. And I knew, I knew, I knew it was fucking booze. I knew, like, you know, you know, stop, you know, all these things are from booze and from drinking. And, you know, I'd, I'd not, I'd stop for like a day or two days and then just kind of, without thinking, just, Buy some wine. Like I said, it was more a compulsion than anything. It was, I don't guess a habit of that was being what I did on the evening or on the weekends. But you know, it, it, that was just eroding everything else, you know. I mean, even in regards to for making videos like for the channel, I mean, I've been turfing them out. You know, almost daily this week. You know, I've just been having ideas I've had for videos for a while that I've just not got around to doing, or I've just not been asked to do because I, you know, I'd, I'd think about it while I was drunk and be like, "Oh yeah, that'd be cool to do." And then, you know, I'd always plan on doing something and just not, not do it because I, you know, couldn't be asked or didn't have the energy or the enthusiasm in the day because of the alcohol from the previous evening yeah yeah anyway i don't want to grab it on for too long um mainly wanted to make this video just to you know celebrate one full week or seven days without having uh drunk alcohol and also to reiterate my uh, appreciation to all the people that left all those uh Beautiful messages, beautiful comments on the I'm an alcoholic video. And uh, yeah, I don't know. So yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll keep making videos in regards to, you know, sobriety and all that shit, but you know, just maybe one a week or something, just to, just, 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 just for myself, you know, or just for, you know, just, just, you know, just, for the, just why not, you know. I'm not going to be some kind of sobriety guru, I mean, it's, the internet's already flush with those fuckers, YouTube and that, you know. But, um, yeah, you know, it's just my own personal, I hate to use this, but the word journey, but you know, it, it's, you know, my journey, <laughs> my journey from back from the brink of booze. Mm. But yeah, it's a, uh, it's Terminator Cola. It kind of, yeah, it's like kind of diet cola mixed with cream soda, maybe now. Yeah, yeah, it's it's a novelty. It's, it's nothing impressive about it particularly, you know. I'll take Coke Zero any day, so, you know. Started drinking them, like, replace uh, booze. It's nice as well, actually. So I was always a full sugar Coke drinker, uh, but I only drink Coke every so often because can't drink that shit all the time, but no, it's uh, Coke Zero, tastes good, so I'm switching to that, so yeah, get healthy, get rid of the booze, that's, that's, yeah, I've been to the gym for over a week now, getting back to the gym and uh, probably yield some decent results while we're not drinking, uh, or some better results, so yeah, yeah, anyway, um, yeah, Here's to life, love, and friendship, and, <laughs> and Coca-Cola in the year 3000, anyway, good night.